first thing we want to do is take all your ingredients for the marinade, put them in a bowl and using a food blender or even a food processor if you want, uh, blend them down into a nice thick paste. Next you want to take your diced lamb, I like to use shoulder of lamb but if you want it to be a little bit leaner you could use leg of lamb, I like using shoulder because it's got a fatty content that gives it a lot more flavour. So add your diced lamb to the mixture as well and give it a good mix. Put a saucepan on the heat. Add some olive oil or ghee if you prefer to use it, it doesn't matter. Uh, bring it up to the heat and then add your dried spices. Now you don't want them to burn, you just want them to emulgate with oil a little bit, get warmed up just so the flavour spreads out. Add your onions to the pot, give them a good stir and let them cook till they start to go translucent. But don't let them go too brown. Next you want to add your chopped tomatoes to the pot and give it a good stir, mix it in with those onions. Bring it up to heat and then turn the heat down and leave it to cook and break down for about 45 minutes to an hour. You want to break it down until it becomes a nice sauce. As the onions and tomatoes start to break down, add your fresh ginger, garlic and chilies to the mix. And then you want to add about five teaspoons of good quality curry powder. And after that, add a whole tube of tomato puree. Give it a good stir and if it's getting too dry just add a little bit of water to it. Allow the mix to cook out for about another 15 minutes, 10-15 minutes and then add your fresh cut potatoes. Give them a good stir so that everything gets mixed in and all the potatoes get covered in the sauce. Leave it to cook for about another 30 minutes on a medium heat because you, you want the potatoes to start cooking out and uh, absorbing all those lovely flavours. After the potatoes have been cooking for about half hour, take them off the stove, pour them into a baking tray and then take your marinated lamb and pour that mixture on top of them as well. Put the tray in a preheated oven of about 180 degrees centigrade and leave it to cook for about an hour. After the curry has been cooking for about an hour in the oven, take it out and transfer it to a serving dish or individual plates and voila! Hope you enjoy your meal. This is Chef's Travels, I'm Kevin Harrington. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you on the next one. Bon appetit.